Hi, my name is Ron Dorn. I'm the instructor who developed and is teaching the Arizona Landscapes One Credit Session B class. So I'd like to welcome you to Arizona Landscapes and introduce the class to you. I'll do this via a mixture of PowerPoint and showing you Canvas. So I wanna emphasize that even though it's at an upper division level, there are no prerequisites. I'd also like to emphasize that there's no textbooks. It's just online readings. The class goals are to introduce you to the stunning scenery of Arizona, both around the ASU area in metropolitan Phoenix and across the state, to empower you to try and explore on your own and to encourage lifelong learning to explore your local geography no matter where you are as a sun devil. The class format is online, run via Canvas, it's self-paced. You organize your time to complete the quizzes on the lectures. The lectures mix broad patterns of Arizona landscapes and great spots around the state worthy of your time and well-known hiking areas close to the ASU Tempe campus. The grading of the class is very simple. There are over 150 points available and you accumulate points to reach the grade you want using the grading scale that you see. Most students want to reach an A plus and that's 112 points. In accessing the lectures, I'll show you how it works. You are going to be asked for a log on and a user ID. I put all the lectures behind a firewall that you can access even when you're no longer an ASU student. I want them to be available to you after you graduate. So they're on a server. When you click on the link, you simply type in the log on landforms and the password rock. So now I'm in the Canvas module and I'm going to the modules here and perhaps you can see on my screen that they're broken down into the broad patterns of Arizona, the climate, biogeography, soils, and the landforms, geology, and hydrology. Then in the second module, iconic Arizona landscapes such as the Grand Canyon, Sedona, Arizona movies, volcanic landscapes, and those right around metropolitan Phoenix. And then there's a last module about whether you're up to challenge your memory. Do you actually remember anything from the different lectures? So when you click on one of the modules, say for South Mountain, you're given supplemental readings that are just enrichment. They're not required. They're not on the quiz. The quiz is based entirely upon my online presentation. I'm now I'm going to click on the South Mountain presentation. It should open up a separate window and it's asking you for the log on. It's not your ASU right ID. It's, do you remember? Landforms rock. And I've done this in Adobe Presenter as opposed to this sort of a video, streaming video thing, because I think Adobe Presenter gives you a better right way to control the video. You can jump between the different slides. It may take a while to start up. If it does take a while to start up, you simply hit refresh and it should end up starting up sooner. But it takes a while for the whole program to load on your computer and then it spools out one image at a time. So here it's playing, and uh, there you can see the entire presentation in the form of slides. And it tells you the links of the presentation. So you can jump around, you can take it in order, and you can take notes. The quizzes are set up for each one of the lectures. So a one credit class delivers at least 15 contact hours of material. The required lectures and associated quizzes count for those hours. They're multiple choice. And sometimes I even make it really easy on you to provide you questions of what you will see. So for example, um, this is the exact question that you will see in the Canvas quiz. I do this to try and relax you quite a bit so that you can actually kick back and enjoy the class instead of worrying so much about the assessment. The entire purpose of this class is to be fun and easy. Due dates sometimes are an issue for students who like to be told when things are turned on and off. They don't have any due dates because I want you to pick and choose whatever quiz you want to do first, whatever presentation you want to want, want to do first. So the only way to pull that student choice option off is to have everything due at the end of the session. 
So what I want you to do is to click on the syllabus for the course. If you click on the syllabus for the course, no matter what session you're in, the top of the syllabus will have the due dates very clearly stated at the top. In summary, I hope that you greatly enjoy this class. It should be fun. I hope it encourages you to explore. And even if you're not in Arizona at the time, you need to come to Arizona and see all of these fantastic places. Thank you for your interest in this class. Thank <laughs> you.